This may look like a typical cantaloupe, but there's more to this melon than meets the eye. Every one of these cantaloupes inside this greenhouse is an experiment. Pretty much all of agriculture starts with a seed. You know, some farmer is going to put that seed in the ground. What's happened over the years is the, the ability to improve that seed, the ability to put more and more power into that seed is what the biology revolution has been. Fox 40 was invited to go behind the scenes at Monsanto's research and development lab in Woodland. First stop, the pathology department, where scientists scan millions of seeds. Their goal is to find traits which lead to better crops and avoid agricultural disease. But it's not easy. Sometimes you get really lucky and you find something right away, and then sometimes it takes decades to find resistance. The seeds with the best genes are sent to greenhouses, like the one run by melon breeder Jeff Mills. The not-so-good seeds are stored in a massive seed library. Mills creates hybrids of melon plants, trying to grow new varieties that buyers will like. So when you go to the grocery store, you expect a melon to look a certain way, right? It needs to be kind of a certain size, a certain shape. If the netting is not uniform and has a bald spot on one side, you're going to assume there's something wrong with it. You're going to keep moving. You're going to buy an apple. Monsanto says it's genetic science, not genetic modification, which involves splicing genes from one plant to another. Of the 20 fruits and vegetables grown at this lab, Monsanto told us only sweet corn and squash are genetically modified. GMOs are valuable, very valuable, provide benefits at the grower level uh, in many crops, um, but it tends to be, uh, for most of those introductions, they've been a larger acre crops, things like corn and soybean, et cetera, not necessarily the vegetable space. The people will bring Monsanto to its knees. The company is no stranger to controversy for its use of GMOs. Some groups, including the Center for Food Safety out of San Francisco, claim what Monsanto is doing is unsafe. Genetically engineered crops is they're not just one possible option. They contaminate other options and destroy them. Agencies such as the World Health Organization and the American Medical Association say there's no evidence GMOs are harmful. The ag giant is also being sued by dozens of Californians who say glyphosate found in the weed killer Roundup gave them cancer. John Purcell, head of Monsanto's research and development, says most of the research is on the company side. Regulatory body after regulatory body has confirmed the safety of glyphosate. You look for different methods to control your weeds, you look for, but glyphosate is a very good herbicide and it has an outstanding record from a regulatory perspective and a safety perspective. Another issue causing some criticism, Monsanto's changing workforce. While the high-tech facility employs hundreds of people, some jobs are now being done by robots. So our marker lab is very much driven by robotics. You literally could not do the volume of work that we do in that robotics laboratory that we could do by hand. But there's one job only humans can do. When I hear the word flavor, my ears just pick up and I like, it's by, make my day. Dr. Chow Ming Li is known around Monsanto as Dr. Yummy. His job is critical to make sure people like the fruits and vegetables Monsanto grows. So there are a lot of attempts to mimic the human mouth. It's a very, very challenging task. Monsanto's scientific methods may come under scrutiny, but as the world's largest producer of seeds, the company's research has an impact on agriculture and the future of food.